other day I got a message from a man from a car forum saying he lived not a couple of miles away. Do I want his old Vax Blade? I went, yes, I would love it. Thank you very much indeed. And it turned up and here it is. We have a, apparently, Mark 1, Generation 1, Vax Blade, 24 volt. The basic -y, basic of models. This is all we have. We need to go through it all, check it works, see what doesn't work, and perhaps give it a little bit of a go. But I'm sure being a vax and under here is going to be quite disgusting. So let's have a look at this little fella and see what its problem is. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Of course its problem is it's a vac, it's, it's a very common issue and sadly afflicts a lot of plastic junk from China. It's the little things like this, it's really stiff to get on and off and it's literally because all the plastic is eating itself. Every time you plug it in all the casing is just warping and leaving all those telltale signs of white plastic gunk and yeah obviously Dyson's don't quite do it this way they just expand the plastic until the entire thing wobbles off. Vax seem to deform it so it grips tighter. Maybe it's a design feature that we don't know about. 35 minutes of run time in the lowest setting with the brush roll off. Of course you probably get about 35 seconds in real use. I've no idea what the battery in this one's like however we do have a switching adapter 25 volts 600 milliamps and this is just your cheap generic Chinese adapter but it is the original one for this machine because A the guy told me B it's got that little keyway which is where are we what slots into this keyway here and it doesn't really stop you using A and other 24 volt DC jack and so you should as well the floor head is actually something that we are very familiar with because this is the same floor head that we stuck an Audi battery onto and put the little switch on and made it into our little hackle power head and that's made me realise that this is a Mark 1 we should probably get hold of a current generation head and do an update version because yeah this is obviously very worn out very tired the brushes are covered in here and the hose has spit which is a pain but what we're gonna do now quickly is try and do a bodge on that what i'm hoping is if i can get enough cube on to stick to the edges when you hold the machine upright it closes perfectly we'll put some more on and if we clonk it up right, I am hoping that this will hold it together enough for us to get through the rest of this video. That's now pushing the coils together. So we'll pop that aside and yeah, obviously I'm going to replace that when I refurbish the machine. But I want it to work for the before video and not have to care about much else. This is the main machine. It's not very nice to hold. It's got a plasticky handle. I think you can hold it that way or this way we have all of the controls on the back bar the power switch which is here and it feels a little bit broken there's no tactile feedback at all you've got to push it in a very specific place to feel anything but it turns on seems to default straight into boost mode and in boost mode we have pretty much no suction at all if we go into Wow, we have about the same suction as the pneumatic heavy quick on low, which isn't great. So I believe we have some issues somewhere. Now, of course, we could empty it and it's not very full at all. Oh, my goodness, folks. Look, it is September <laughs> at the time I'm filming this. Christmas tree decorations. Yay, the guy said it had been sat around a while. Yeah. Emptying it isn't the problem with these, I've, I've been told stuff about this, and what we need to do first is get the Victor V9 ready. 
my good friend told me exactly how the filtration works on these and it's pretty appalling. Inside of here is your typical actually Vax filter, slightly different design but something we've seen a lot before and that comes off there. In here, look at that, that is what Vax class as a, you know, I presume a pre-motor filter or you know, oh, that'll cake all the dust up and stop it from clogging. No, it won't. And you end up, oh good, this does come out. And you end up with just something that doesn't work at all. I wonder, I bet we can turn this on. Oh yeah. That's much less mediocre than it was before. So yes, we are going to give this a bit of a clean up as usual. And just like that, a few seconds later, we have the thing looking much cleaner. So we'll put our filter bucket in here. Now I must point out that obviously you know, they do do other models bar this, because despite this being an early one, and it's why I said current earlier, Vax still sell this exact model for £149 as their basic budget machine. I've, I've been told that the other blades do have a better filter arrangement and that is very good that is appalling but and again it goes into boo straight away that that's very deceptive ah we now have better airflow oh that was the wrong button but better we shall force the wand on which is very difficult to get on and off, what with its issues. Look, it's already pulled some dirt through itself. And then hopefully that has given, it has, look, our hose, oh, ah, yeah, ish. It will give our hose time to set, it, it, it just needs longer, and more glue. So I'm going to come back when this is fit to use. Whilst our glue dries, we may as well have a little bit of a clean-up of the brush rod, because it's not going to be doing much good. And again, this being of its generation, you cannot take the brush rod out without tools and a significant amount of effort. So we need to remove these three screws here, holding the end cap into place. Then, oh, ah, in fact, no, oh, I'm wrong, you can't even take it out doing this, I don't think. Ah. Hang on, have I just taken the wrong end out? Oh, I think I have. This has been a part before. So I can say that, oh my goodness, wow. Ah. This screw is not going back in. Let me get this side off. I think that cog is fixed and we need to pull the brush rod out from this way. But yeah, that screw is being a pain. Yes, we were wrong. I've put that end back together. So it's not actually impossible, but it is difficult to do. You do have to get the old screwdriver out. And you've still got to force the brush roller out of the machine. There we go. Like so. And yeah, you can then you can get access to cleaning there. Possibly not going to bother now because it's all going to be washed anyway. But we can get to our brush roller. Obviously our bearings will sit under this cap. Like so. Get all of the dirt out of there. You've got to get to Vax brush rolls before they melt. The upright airs are terrible for this. They just get left and all the hair melts the soft plastic and destroys the thing. I'm going to get this cleaned up so it's looking better.
and our brush roll looks a heck of a lot cleaner. As you can see, look, I, I wasn't wrong. Look, it, it has started to kill itself. It's rubbing up against all of that in there that my camera won't focus on. Yet, typical Vax, this is the problem. Even the expensive ones will do this as well. Even if you do keep up with maintenance, sadly, oh, then you've got to line up the little end cog with the hex in this, and that will hold everything into place. And in theory, our glue job seems to be holding. I'll just not recline the head all the way. We'll leave the wand off and we'll put this chewed up screw in its path. It's obviously going to start off on boost. And oddly, it starts with the brush roll off. So I'll turn it off. But... Whoa. Not bad at all. Now this floor head does a significant portion of the work, I'll be honest. That's why it works so well on the other vacuums. But yeah, it's yeah, you know, it picks it all up, it makes it into a nice little ball. And you can see all of the scratches coming out of the plastic. From where it does that. Bless its little heart. I mean I'm hoping that the filter isn't destroyed just from that little bit. Oh, yeah, look, it is. It's already quite dirty. You see, that is this machine's flaw, is that its filtration is dire, and granted, Vax did change it, but equally, Vax do still sell this exact model. So, you know, don't, if you're buying the cheapest Vax, do be careful. But in terms of this one, well, I didn't buy it, I was given it, and that's about the right price for one of these. So I am going to get it done. Get it, just Phoenix. Get it working nicely and spotlessly clean once more. And we shall see it again. And hey, you'll have to comment down below if we should use it for 12 vacuums in 12 months once it is all back together. Although it is a dinosaur, hopefully, compared to the modern ones. Let me know down below. Do you have a vax blade? Is it this terrible? Or have they improved? I hope so. Do let me know. But until the next time, I and this vax blade will see you soon. Bye-bye.